Uh, Adriana's got a look at uh, how things look on the roads this morning and has been talking about one of our favorite subjects, potholes. Adriana. Yes, we talk about this every year. It's our favorite subject, of course, potholes. You'll see them no matter where you're traveling across southeast Wisconsin. So let's take a walk uh, to see what the roadways look like right here out on Tetonia Avenue. We're here near Tetonia and Hampton, and some of Tetonia actually looks really nice. You can't see any potholes along parts of Tetonia, but other parts you can see the roadway is plagued with potholes. So as we move closer to the street, you've got a couple deep ones right here out on Tetonia and Hampton. So as you're traveling out the door, just please use extra caution for your morning drive this morning because you never know how deep those potholes might be with all this rain. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And typically if you hit a pothole, the most common type of damage is going to be due to your tire or your suspension. So please use extra caution as you're traveling out for your morning commute. Now I caught up with the Department of Public Works recently to see what they're doing to fix this pesky problem. This is the time of year when customers start coming in to Kush's Automotive with damage due to pesky potholes. Unfortunately in Wisconsin, potholes are a thing all year long, um, so it's very steady for us. Kathy Kush, owner of the shop, says although some potholes might be small, they can cause major damage. A lot of sway bar links that are broken, um, a lot of control arms that are coming in, and also the ball jar. Out on the streets, crews with the Department of Public Works are working on filling the cracks and craters near 58th and West Vine. So they had started on uh, part of it yesterday and are continuing on today. Thomas Wagner and Street Service Manager says between March and May, that's when nearly 40% of requests for pothole service comes in. He says so far this year, they have received about 2,500 requests and responded to about 2,100. The requests will continue that new potholes will, will form because freeze-thaw cycles are still out. So they form through freeze-thaw cycles uh, when moisture makes it into cracks in the pavement. It freezes, expands. Asphalt is a very flexible material, but as it ages, it becomes more brittle. So those cracks form, they open up. This week, crews switch from a cold mix to a hot material, which provides a more permanent solution. DPW says fixing those battered roads is critical, especially as we head from the spring to summer months. Around May, it usually slows down. We're able to shift our operations to more preventative measures when it comes to um, surface temperatures on the pavement. So I asked the Department of Public Works, you know, there's so many potholes across the city. Where are you guys going to focus on next? They say they're really across the city of Milwaukee. They have 10 crews working across the city, so they're trying to get to as many streets as they can as possible. Now, if you live on a street and you have a lot of potholes there and you want to report it to DPW, you can do so by calling 286-CITY or you can go online to city.milwaukee.gov to report your pothole. But once again, something that we just got to deal with here in Wisconsin. Back to you in the studio.